These bolts here on the engine cover of the S1000R are what you call torque to yield bolts which means that you torque them, they, use, you, they can be only used once you torque them to a specified torque and if you remove them then you've got to replace uh, replace the screw, you can only use it one time okay so today I'm going to kind of replace this engine slider with a different one because uh, the little plastic piece of this slider has broken off and um, it costs hundred and fifty dollars to replace this from BMW but I've got this replacement one here uh, that I'm gonna put on that costs uh, one-third the price and uh, since it's a sacrificial part I don't really care if it's not BMW or not this is RNG and I've got other RNG parts on this bike so I'm gonna replace this but in order to replace this I'm gonna have to take these three screws out and then this one here only comes with two screws okay so that means I had to put back the original screw here and I don't have that I didn't get that from the original owner so I had to go buy a set of screws and uh, these uh, I bought three of them just just to have some extras and uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna put one of them here and I'm gonna demonstrate the use of uh, uh, the uh, a special tool to apply the correct torque uh, to to these screws so I'm gonna take this off and then I'll resume when I start putting putting that screw in with the correct torque so with the old slider removed I've got one of these M6 by 25 aluminum uh, torque to yield screws ready and I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, medium thread locker on that uh, right on the tip and then I'm gonna torque it down just to close that hole and provide the clamping force here okay now the torque that is called for this is the torque uh, is applied in two steps first you have to use a torque wrench to apply three Newton meters torque to this and then after that you've got to use something like this okay which is used to torque to a specified angle and the specification for these bolts here call for three Newton meters and then 90 degrees uh, torque to angle so I'll show you how to do that in a second it's a little bit runny I've got blue Loctite as well and that's not as runny but this one is pretty runny so we stick it in there tighten that up by hand I was going to use my screw uh, screwdriver but uh, <laughs> it's there already so this little baby torque wrench that I've got here only goes as far as 5.1 Newton meters and so I went down past that lowest mark just a little bit uh, I don't know if that's actually three but that's all I gotta go with so I'm tightening that and that's it right there now I can tell you when I took these screws off they had less torque than I just applied so the torque that was there before was incorrect it was too slack so now we're gonna do the second phase and uh, so we don't need the torque wrench anymore but we do need the uh, where did I put it oh here it is this comes this one comes with a 3 8 drive so I've had to uh, use a, a series of step downs to uh, step it down to to this little small uh, I forget what he does, quarter inch probably, so that it'll fit on my bit. And then, what you need to do is to just apply a breaker bar here, just a lever, and then torque this until this needle comes down to 90. Now, one thing I didn't mention before was this thing here. This here holds this part of the tool in place. So it, it provides a brace against which you turn, because if you don't uh, uh, fix this or brace this against some part of the structure so that the, the, the black part here doesn't move then what happens is the whole thing turns and you apply torque to the screw but you're not turning uh, you're not seeing what the what the uh, the angle is because the whole thing is turning including the dial 
So what you've got to do is, is fix this to somewhere on this uh, structure, brace it up against maybe this point here, and then when you apply, then the bottom part, this black part doesn't go anywhere, and then you're just turning the dial here, and you're applying the correct torque. The problem here in this particular case is that uh, I've got nothing really nice to, uh, this is used uh, um, primarily for putting things like, um, uh, you know, heads, engine heads on, we have got a torque to angle. Um, so there's usually nice structure that you can brace this part uh, against. But uh, in this particular case or in this application, I don't have any structure here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, hold it in place and uh, with my hand and uh, that's as good as I can get okay so let me see if I can put the uh, the torque wrench not the torque wrench but the ratchet on correctly so that I don't block the uh, the, 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 the view for you and then I'm gonna put this like this hopefully you can see the angle uh, there um, it's in okay and I'm holding that that bracing bar there in one spot and I'm gonna torque this now so look 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 down here and you'll see the angle there you go there's 90 degrees that's a fair bit of torque that's a heck of a lot more torque than was on that before these three bolts were basically held down with no torque at all. So whoever put this on did not torque it properly. Uh, the manual does call for uh, 3 newton meters and 90 degrees uh, in a two-stage application. So what I'm going to do now is apply, is put this thing on, this new slider here, using these. These are steel bolts, so they're not torqued to yield. However, it should still have the same clamping force as these aluminum bolts. So I'm going to use the same torque setting on those and, uh, and get the job done. Of course, uh, these here uh, have hex heads, so they're not uh, torx heads like that. So I've got to uh, get another combination of bits uh, on the end of my, uh, of my uh, wrench. Okay, I've snugged that. I applied some Loctite on these, uh, um, these hex screws, and now I'm going to apply the 3 newton meters of torque what I think is the three newton meters of torque there you go that's one and uh, on the second one let's apply there you go so that's three newton meters there and now we've got to switch over to this gizmo here reset or uh, <laughs> not like that reset the uh, the wrench back to zero well actually you don't have to go back to zero you can just uh, you know add 90 on to wherever you are so uh, it doesn't really matter um, so we do that and then I have to go find now this particular case here I can I can brace it on the slider itself so that's not too bad hopefully this slider though can take the torque um, <laughs> it should be interesting okay so let us put it and we're ready and let's go can you see that it's at 60 and that's 90 just like that do the other one now I've got to make sure that of course I I, I recenter this back to zero uh, just just to make it uh, you know easy for me now you might be able to see this because of of where I've got to brace this um, actually it's kind of like touching that and it's going to scratch it so uh, that's the other difficulty you've got to rotate your tool until you find a, a suitable bracing point uh, <laughs> before you can start the operation okay I'm, I'm going to hold it again because I don't have I don't have all this time to waste here today so I'm gonna hold it in place here and I'm gonna apply my torque uh, so my hand is bracing it and I'm gonna apply my 90
torquing to 90 you can't see it but trust me it's going there ah it's got three newton meters and 90 degrees of angle on that and that's a hell of a lot more torque than was there before uh, it was basically just hand tight not even hand tight it was just finger tight before so that's it uh, that's all I wanted to say on this video um, that's how I just wanted to, to kind of demonstrate the use of this uh, of this tool here uh, the torque to angle uh, tool I bought it one time before I forget what application I was using it for but I only used it one time <laughs> prior to today so uh, I thought hmm maybe I'll make a video and uh, and record what I did today for that now I'm wondering <laughs> if these other screws are also not having the right torque should I go ahead and try to tighten them down uh, if they already have the right torque on it and I try to tighten them down that means I have to apply 90 degrees so that'll be another 90 degrees on top of the 90 degrees that they already have if they're correctly torqued you see my problem um, so I think that the sensible thing is to just leave it well enough alone there's nothing leaking out of here or anything like that that's fine um, I'm gonna just you know worry about these three that I've put in and I've put them into three Newton meters and then 90 degrees each one of them so I'm happy about these three that's it for today folks